Hello there, Make Stuff Fans family. It's me, Abdul Make Stuff Thousand, and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege video. Today, I want to start a new series called How to Defend in Rainbow Six Siege. So, the series is about me explaining how to defend the different rooms in the different objectives. And today, I am going to be explaining how to do how to defend secure area on house. So next video is going to be bomb, and then the after one, the one after is going to be hostage. And then I move to a new map. Of course, I'm not a professional, so uh, always uh, give me some feedback down below on uh, things I can improve for the next videos. And that is very appreciated. See you later, guys. Enjoy the video. Bye bye. Also, quick note: this is meant for beginners. Let's get started. First off, we have master bedroom. This objective has four entrances, three doors and one window. So two essential operators to pick are either bandit or mute. Both are very good at keeping drones off the objective. So if you pick bandit, you should electrify all the barbed wires you can find and also electrify the reinforced walls in the small room. As you see on screen, these are the best spots for barbed wire and these are the ones you need to electrify. The one underneath the window and the one in the bathroom. Another must pick up where is Jaeger. He can save you from a lot of grenades such as fuses grenade or normal grenades. Also flashbangs and smoke grenades. Put Jaeger's magpie in these three locations to ensure the, th the most protection from all the sides. So you gotta reinforce most of these walls to ensure that the, uh, the enemies will not make any holes in the wall and take advantage of them. So these, all these walls that are just shut, but they leave this one alone. Uh, still make a hole with it, so you can shoot from up here, and I will show you in just a little bit on how to do that. Another great idea is to shoot this hatch open. It will allow you to quickly flank the enemy if they all are grouped together. You should also reinforce this wall in the bathroom to ensure that teammates will not get hurt from behind while defending the bathroom. And last but not least, barricade up all the doors and you're fine. And now into the trick I talked about earlier, you gotta put your sheet in this exact location and this will allow you to jump over the cabinet up here and have a very big view around the whole objective and be able to shoot the people outside. You can also shoot people outside the objective, all around, in the bathroom and just outside the objective. So that's a very, very big advantage. People will not expect you to be up here, so that's a very big advantage to your side. The element of surprise. And a quick note, if you don't have easy bandit or mute on your team, then get someone like Pulse and stay, let him stay in the kid's bedroom, so we can protect these two walls. Those are very important, if, if the attackers Come from the inside, you're almost dead. That's a guarantee. Next up, we have the kid's bedroom. It's one of the hardest objectives on this map. It has a lot of walls. Four windows and one door entrance. There are two different ways to defend this objective. The first one, do not reinforce any walls and destroy the walls from underneath at the very bottom. Just to, al to allow you and your teammates to shoot into the objective from, for example, the extraction site, or maybe master bedroom. Those are two locations that you can help defend the objective with. So as Jaeger, you want to put one ADS at the extraction site window, and also one at the master bedroom window. So now let's talk about the way two on how to defend this objective. Um, as for example, an operator like Dark, which can self-revive, and here are the teammates. So you want to put these two walls just to allow, just to ensure that nobody is shooting you from behind. And now you can sit behind the shield and shoot all the entrances without being shot easily. I will still suggest to shoot the holes in these walls, the other ones that you didn't reinforce, um, to allow teammates from all the other objective to help if the enemies enter the objective. Next up, we have the living room. The objective is surrounded with windows and have two door entrances and also one hat. On this objective, you should use long ranged weapons with a cargo on and also sit behind shields 
to be in the most protective way. So when you spawn off, you should just immediately shoot that hatch open and it will work as a little flank route as well, like the one in Master Bedroom. As you see, uh, put your shield in a corner and sit behind it and you will have a very good view on the objective so you can shoot and kill the attackers. This objective only has one reinforceable wall that you should reinforce. Jaeger is again the MVP, so if the enemy has a fuse and you don't have a Jaeger on your team, you are just dead. Yeah, you can't stay in this objective anymore. So now you are done setting up, uh, let's say for example you are in this situation, attackers are too aggressive so you jump down the hatch and you can either go this way up here and kill the attackers if they come f f around here. Or you can go the other way and kill them from outside. So you break down the barricade and then you can shoot them from outside pretty easily. Or you can go through kitchen and kill them if they are located in front of the main door. Now, last but not least, the garage. The garage has a lot of walls that you should reinforce and the most important are the two garage doors. Your opponents might be picking Hibana or Thermite. So you should bring a bandit or mute with you. Mira is also useful as well. Put her Mira on the reinforced walls on the garage doors to just uh, to have more information on the enemy's location outside. So let's say you did uh, you reinforce the three, three walls right here and put for example a bandit battery here. So what you wanna do is put a shield in front uh, to block all grenades that comes in and to destroy them if they don't have a Thatcher on the team. And also put a ADS just to make sure they don't use like a ash grenade launcher to destroy the shield. You should also have at least three people on the objective and the others roaming upstairs. So one of the roamers should go go up here uh, on the kitchen, open up the window and shoot outside. Or you can also go um, over here and do this kind of trick where you break half the barricade. So you only two hits and then you shoot the rest of the barricade. This way the enemies can't see the barricade is open. They only see the, ha the top half. So take that to your advantage and easy spawn kill them. You might have to practice this, this uh, a couple of tries for you to be able to do it flawlessly. So the reason I put a shield over there, let me just show, show you real quick, is the attackers can't simply shoot it so they will have to either throw a grenade or use a grenade launcher. But because you have any NDAs over there, they're not going to be do that, be able to do that. That was all. I hope you enjoyed. Some feedback down below, and also leave a like. See ya.